ain't even gonna hold y'all, bro. When OnePlus first sent it to me, I ain't have that high of expectations, but now that I've been using it for a month, it's a whole completely different story, bro, I'm telling you. Hey, what's good y'all, it's Drill, and I have the OnePlus 12 for like over a month now, just over a month now, and I want to go and check out what's going on with this thing after a month and see if I like it or not. Tell y'all or not. Obviously, I know if I like it or not, but y'all don't know, and that's the point of this video, so I'm about to go and tell y'all. And real quick, I got to give a shout out to OnePlus, because they did send it to me, even though we did have some issues, obviously. If you saw the live streams and all that, yeah, obviously we had some issues, but at the same time, no, still shout out to them. Because I still got a free OnePlus 12 to go ahead and do a review on, so that's what I'm doing right now, obviously. But yeah, bro, you would be surprised about all this Stuff you can do with the OnePlus 12. Like, I ain't even know about all this, especially for the price point. So, if you want to go and pick up a OnePlus 12, we're feeling linked down below. But if you want to go and pick one up, you can get it for $6.99 when you trade it in any phone in any condition. So, it don't matter what it is. Like I said in the unboxing video, you could dead ass trade in a landline and then that would count as any phone in any condition. If I were you, I would take advantage of that. That's on the OnePlus website. Otherwise, if you don't trade in no phones or nothing like that, it's going to run you $7.99. Or if you want to go and upgrade to the more storage and the more RAM, it's going to run you $8.99. Also, you can get it at Floyd Emerald or you can get it in this silky black color that I got right here. So what's up with this thing, bro? We go F around and find out. And I hope that never come out of my mouth again on this channel. So let's talk OnePlus 12. And I'm behind the camera because, frankly, the thing that matters here is the phone, not really me. So let's talk OnePlus 12. And the reason I'm behind the camera is because, frankly, the phone is the thing that matters here, not me. And something I'm trying to focus on over here is the build quality and the design. So look at the design over here. Now, frankly, me personally, I just, I don't know. I seem better. I, that's all I'm going to say. It's definitely not ugly, but at the same time, no, if you look at things like the camera, like, let me go and zoom in here real quick. We do not need all this brand in here in the camera. I understand it's a Hasselblad and all that, but still. I already understand it's a Hasselblad. You don't need to tell me that all over the back of my camera. And the camera's big enough as it is, bro. I don't know if that's a thing needed by Hasselblad where they need to put that in the back of the camera, but I'm just saying. Besides that, though, looking at the camera again, it is mad big. I ain't even gonna hold y'all. But at the same time, no, like, just looking around the rest of the phone, it definitely is decent for sure. And yes, I missed my that's what she said joke, but I ain't even gonna get to that right now. We already passed that point. <laughs> so, alright. Keep in mind, though, because some of y'all may not like this, but we do have a curved screen over here. So, I know that Sam to stop doing that with the S24, but just look at this. As you can see right there, definitely still a thing up on here. You may like that, you may not like that. I don't really know, but at the same time though, it is gonna be harder for screen protectors, especially for a phone like this that just ain't as popular as Samsung. At least with Samsung, they got the excuse because you got like Whitestone Dome and all these other companies backing them up, but like OnePlus, they ain't really got nothing. And crazy thing is, I don't even think you're gonna find as much support with the Z Fold 5 as you is with the OnePlus 12. And this is a whole foldable find over here, so just off topic real quick, but imagine the OnePlus open. We'll talk about that later though, I promise y'all, so stay tuned. But let's go ahead and talk about that build quality, which is actually pretty good too. I ain't really had no issues with it so far. If you look at the back over here, we got this matte back and it's kind of different. I don't know how to really explain it, but it's not gonna scratch easy at all because of the matte back. So don't worry about that. Now I still use the case, which is by speaker here as you can see, but at the same time though, the build quality just looking around here, I ain't got no scratches or nothing, so we're good. And just holding it definitely feel premium, no issues with that. And now we gonna spin the block real quick cause I know I kinda sound like I'm all over the place, but we gonna go and talk about that camera again. We gonna focus on this now. Specifically, how do cameras look, man? And this is actually probably the craziest part about this phone that I noticed so far. So I got some pictures and videos I want to show y'all. Why does my dog keep running up and down these stairs? He making way too much noise. Melly, calm down. As you can see, we got four cameras over here and they work dope. I want to go and show you some pictures I took downtown Milwaukee just to go ahead and give y'all a feel for how these look. Pay attention to the clarity and everything about it, especially put this video in 4K so you can see it for sure. Because I'm telling y'all, it is wild. <laughs> So this finna be the OnePlus 12. We downtown Milwaukee right now. I'm on the river walk. You can see it's beautiful, man. This camera look a hell of a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. So you can go ahead and zoom in a little bit right there. So we got one X. As you can see, got the associated bank building. We got this bridge over here. We got some more buildings over there. So let me go ahead and zoom in real quick. Let's see how far we can get. So we're on one X. Now we're on two X, three X, four X, five X, six X, ten X. 
15 next, 16 next, 18 next. So we can go up to 18x at 4K 30, I almost said 60, 30 on the OnePlus 12. All right, so this is the Pfizer Forum, AKA the Buck Stadium on the OnePlus 12 over here at 4K 30. So you can see over there, we got like the Buck sign and all that. So yeah, it's a no build for sure though. I remember the Milwaukee Bucks actually had a watch party out here back when they was a champion, so that was dope. But yeah, let me know how y'all feeling about this at night. And now we got the daytime video test. We at the Milwaukee River Walk, as you can see here, 4K 60. Let me go ahead and put this in ultra wide real quick, as you can see. All right, let me go ahead and zoom in real quick. Now, let's go to this associated bank building. And now we all the way at 18X. This camera look crazy, bro. I ain't even gonna hold you. This is actually pretty decent for sure. For an $800 phone, I ain't even expected to look this good, for real. And then this the Buck Stadium in the daytime, so it's a little bit more active. There's a couple people around here, you know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, we got the Pfizer form right there. We got the Buck sign. Yeah, let me know what y'all think about this in the comments. But it's definitely looking clean to me, man. Let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit. We got 18X on the King Street. I don't know what that is, but we got some like lift signs and all that over here. So I guess lift is sponsoring the stadium or something like that. I don't know. But yeah, let me know what y'all think about the picture quality up out here. Do you see what I'm talking about, y'all? These cameras is jumping, and I did not expect that at all with the OnePlus 12. That was probably one of the last things I expected. Like, no cap, y'all? They actually got me over here rethinking about my Z45 and the S23 and all that, that I had. Like, the cameras up on there was cool, but then I looked at this, and I was like, damn, man. Man, come on, man. OnePlus definitely snap with these cameras, bro. I ain't even gonna cap because it's definitely legit up on here. Now, social media apps like Snapchat and all that, yeah, that's probably gonna be a little bit iffy. But at the same time, no, just take the pictures and then just upload it to the social media because I'm telling y'all, it's definitely worth it with these cameras. And if you know about Oppo, which is the same company, shout out to Barry Johnson, by the way. So go ahead and watch his channel because he do a bunch of Oppo videos. But Oppo got some crazy cameras too. So they brought it over to OnePlus and then boom, here's what we got right here. Pictures I'm especially most impressed by, bro. Cause like if you just look at the pictures, the picture quality and just the picture clarity, the crispiness is wild. I don't think I've seen pictures that crispy in a minute man like i like for a smartphone that's actually pretty impressive and don't get it twisted my boy i got experience all right i got an iphone 15 pro i got a z4 5 i had an s23 i'm looking at the s24 i had all these phones over here and i even had a oneplus newer which was a little bit back ago now but I, I had all these phones man i'm just saying like just this right here i think it probably looked it's definitely up there. I don't know if I want to say it's the best camera that I've seen yet because, I mean, I don't really know. I, I just feel like I'm kind of down there right now. But I think this probably got the crispiest pictures I've ever seen in a smartphone, man. So shout out to OnePlus for that, though, for sure. The front selfie camera, I seen better, but at the same time, no, that's definitely hidden, too. So I don't think you're going to have no issues with that either. But I'm just saying, bro, and this might surprise y'all, but I think the iPhone is up there for selfie camera pictures, man. Like, that's just how it is. But I'm just saying, bro, and this might shock y'all because I'm the Samsung dude, but iPhone is the one taking it for the selfie pictures over here bro i'm just saying like that's just how it is so let's go and talk about that software and performance and this might be where you might think that was going to take a hit because you saw that price tag but no nah, we got all flagship specs up on here top of the line you got the best snapdragon you could get which by the way shout out to the snapdragon insiders and also if you got a variant like i do you got 16 gigs of ram up in here that's a lot of ram i'm pretty sure that's more ram than my 2150 dollars z45 over here and that's about the same exact amount of ram as my laptop bro my phone got the same ram as my laptop Laptop. That don't make no sense. The same laptop that I edit my videos on. This one right here is being edited on it too. That don't make no damn sense. But for that price tag, that's definitely hidden for sure though. So shout out to OnePlus for that. I'm over here swearing. I told my niece mom that I would stop swearing in my videos. And here I am swearing again. So my bad if you're watching this, which you probably is. So what's good? But when you use this thing, I still ain't noticed no lag with it. And I noticed that when I first got it out the box, how smooth it is. And especially you got that 120 or screen. So you definitely gonna feel that effect on this. And you can see over here, we got oxygen. OS, which no cap, bro, I think it's probably one of the best OSs you can find for an Android phone. Just right up there with One UI and the Pixel OS. I think legitimately Oxygen OS is my number three, and that ain't a bad spot at all, especially considering like there's a lot of OSs out there, man. Cause look, you gotta think about this. Remember, I review phones like the Motorola Rays over here, so I could have put the OS on here over Oxygen OS, but I didn't. So obviously that means something, right? And whatever Motorola got going on over there, I don't know what that OS is called, but that's actually a pretty good OS. So the speed, performance, I ain't got no issues with it and the os is definitely golden for sure you got a decent amount of features up in here too and a lot of settings you could go through i think customization even though i know that's an android thing in general is definitely its highlight right here now we got to go and bust it to this screen right here 6.8 inch oled we got a 1440p screen this thing look dope man now it ain't gonna be as good obviously as a samsung phone come on now like let's let's be real here for a second but at the same time no 
this is not bad at all this is pretty good i mean come on you got hdr you got this whole punch over here now me personally i'm on the side where i'm just kind of done with curved screens at this point so i mean that's just me that's just me and a lot of people but at the same time though i could get over it because just look at the screen over here man beautiful for sure beautiful is definitely an understatement bro and i heard some people say that it looked better than samsung panels so i mean if it, look just think about that samsung been on top of the game for smartphone screens for a minute now so if, for somebody to say that look better than a samsung panel it could have been biased i don't really know but that's saying something keep it a buck right and for you screen nerds over here we got 4500 nits of peak brightness so as far as i'm concerned that's the brightest screen on the market because i'm pretty sure even phones like the pixel a pro over here which is known for having a bright screen got like 24 in the nits so just i Imagine that with the OnePlus 12. Running through that battery life. Let's go and talk about that. So the battery life up on here, you're easily gonna get a day up on here. So I ain't found no issues with this yet. Now, obviously it's gonna depend on the person because we all use our phones differently, right? But I got my phone on like the automatic brightness. It's on max right now. And I feel like that's how it is a lot of the time. And also I use my phone a lot. So the fact that the battery life is holding up pretty decent up on here is definitely clutch. And on top of that, you don't really even gotta worry about the battery. The reason I say that is because it come with an 80 watt charger and you can actually get a 100 watt charger with this thing. So I really, like it's just an infinite glitch you can go ahead and plug this thing up give it like a half hour not even a half hour maybe even like 15 minutes and you'll definitely be straight for the rest of the day because plugging this thing up with a 100 watt charger this thing will be full in less than 40 minutes which is wild even with the wireless charging over here you got 50 watt wireless charging which is actually faster than the wire charging on the galaxy so you can actually wireless charge this thing in like probably less than an hour so i can't believe that now i know everybody's saying in the comments like no nah, bro let's go cook your battery life so shut up for a second and second also look at this the thing that actually cooks your battery is the heat not the charging speed as long as they can manage those thermals you ain't gonna have no problem and it seemed like oneplus did do that so it's not getting hot when i plug it in with the 100 watt charger so we straight now i can't speak for the wireless charging so i'm pretty sure that do get hot but at the same time no i ain't tested it so i can't speak on it now let's do a sound test we're going to youtube and we're gonna go and see what these speakers sound like up on here Okay, not bad. Not really no bass up in there, but not bad. Now, am I going to sit here and lie to y'all saying that I never heard better before? Obviously, no, because that would be a lie, like I said, but it's definitely not bad. Now, let's go and talk about call quality signal and all that up on here. So, the signal ain't had an issue with, I ain't got my SIM card in here right now, but when I was using it, I ain't got no issue. Now, I will be putting the SIM card back up in here because I need to go ahead and do a call quality test for y'all, but just using it just for the signal, I ain't had no issues with it yet. This is going to be the unlock model for the United States, so just to let y'all know. As for the 5G stuff, you're not going to get millimeter wave up in here. So, yeah, that price tag, you're sacrificing something up on there. So, you're not going to get millimeter wave but you do got sub 6 5g so millimeter wave is going to be those ultra fast speeds that you're going to see in the big cities like chicago milwaukee you're going to see in oklahoma la wherever else new york city but you're not going to find it up on here but at the same time though again like i said you're going to get sub 6 5g so you're going to get like the more widespread 5g that you got in all cities with that being said though let's go and do a call quality test and let's go and see what this sound like so i'm talking to y'all from my landline through the one plus 12 and i got the one plus 12 in the full volume so y'all let me know how y'all feel about this in the comments now y'all hearing me through the landline. I'm talking from my OnePlus 12 on the earpiece. So y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. Just switch over the speakerphone on the OnePlus 12. Let me know how y'all think about the call quality. And now we're going to go into the the noise cancellation. So let me go and turn on some music and let's go and see what this sounds like. How y'all think about this? Got music in the background? Next to the speaker. Is y'all good or not? Let me know in the comments. Maybe I don't even got the yell. I don't know. Y'all let me know. Maybe I don't even got the yell. Sounds good to you. All right, so the things I like about it and the beef I got about it. So I like to be a menace to society, so let's go and start for the beef I got about it. A big issue I got with this is not really any third-party support. So like I was telling y'all earlier, you can't find no cases for this thing or nothing. You can't find no good cases. You can't find no good screen protectors. You can't find shit for the OnePlus 12. And my bad, Maya. I keep cursing. Cut it out, Trill. But this is really the only case I could find for the OnePlus 12 that was half decent. And I, I, I just really ain't even feeling this at all. Like, it's all right, but at the same time, though, like it's pretty much all I can find so speaking really don't got no cases for this thing I wish Whitestone don't make screen protectors because I want a glass screen protector and I can't find nothing because of the next con which is that it got a curved screen the fact that they got a curved screen and don't got no accessory support is just really hurting it right now like I ain't gonna lie man I'm kind of over it even with the Pixel A Pro over here we got a flat screen and the flat screen on here is just better than the curved screen at this point no argument y'all let me know in the comments below
below which side y'all on. Y'all on Team Curve or Team Flut? And honestly, that's the only cons I can think about it right now. And that's crazy, because, like, I don't think I ever had that short of a cons list before. So let's go and talk about the pros then. And my favorite thing about the OnePlus 12 over here, which is the IR Blaster. Shout out to OnePlus, bro. The IR Blaster is on the OnePlus 12, and I'm here for it, man. I'm telling y'all. So we actually have an IR Blaster, and I love using this thing. Like, I haven't got to use it in the hotel room yet, because I've been kind of slacking. I ain't hopped in the flight in, like, two months now. But at the same time, though, you can see over here that I got a few devices. Like, I got a TCL TV, Samsung, LG, my cable box. And you just got a wide range of support over here. So obviously, you got the OnePlus TV. You got Oppo TV. I didn't even know Oppo made a TV. TCL Hisense, Toshiba. Like, I don't even know if Toshiba make TVs no more. But yeah, you got a whole wide range of support over here. Water heater, robot vacuum, electric heater, which, by the way, robot vacuum now really makes sense because they all on Wi-Fi nowadays. I noticed, though, Samsung has robot vacuums that still got a remote in. I don't see Samsung in the list because their power bots actually have them. But the fact that we got the IR Blaster, golden. Next up, let's go and talk about those charger speeds again, right? We got 100 watt regular wire charging, and then we got 50 watt wireless charging. That is crazy, bro. 100 watt charging? Like, that's the fastest charging phone that I got. And 50 watts for wireless charging is crazy, bro, because I actually use wireless charging, like, as my main way of charging phones. So the fact that we got 50 watts, even though, like, you got to get the proprietary OnePlus wireless charger, still. Next up, obviously that price tag. So I was going to put that number one, but at the same time, no, I mean, it is what it is. We're here right now. So $699, $699, and you get all this right here. That's a hell of a deal right there. The OnePlus that we all knew and love is back from like when we had the OnePlus Nord and all that. Welcome back, OnePlus. Another pro I got about this is how deep you could get with customization on Oxygen OS. So let's not forget, OnePlus actually started off with Cyanogen mods. So that was like a custom ROM back in the day when Android Phone OS is like rooting and all that was really popping for real. But look at this. You can actually see that I got the data speeds up in here in my notification bar. And I got a lot of different features going on with this because of all the settings that I got. Look at this. Split view, flexible window, quick return, quick launch, smart sidebar, kids mode, simple mode, zen mode, all this stuff, man. And we didn't even get to stuff like this yet, where we got like the screen off gestures, for example. So let me go and turn this off and let's go and make an O here. So we got the camera right there. Let's go and make a V. We got the flashlight. Hold up. Hold up. Let me do that again. Whoa. Hold on. Come on, OnePlus. Damn, y'all. All right. There you go. Flashlight. You got music control. You can go ahead and draw something and go ahead and open an app or go ahead and unlock the phone, make a call, whatever you want to do. You got air gestures. You just got so much stuff over here buried in the settings. Like, it's not overcomplicated. You just got to bury in the settings to look for all this stuff. So, really, it's simple when you want it to be and complex when you want it to. So, that's exactly how I like it. And another pro I got about it is the haptics up on here, bro. The haptics is crazy. I like it better than the iPhone. You got haptics for everything. You got haptics for clearing your notifications. You got haptics for clearing your recent apps. You got haptics everywhere everywhere up on this thing. And I'm telling you, you is not going to be disappointed by the haptics up on here, which is dope. Now, with all that being said, do I give this thing the genetic step of approval and do I recommend it? I think it's kind of obvious at this point. Like if y'all just watch it through the video, if y'all ain't caught on by now, I don't know. I don't even, oh, Jesus Christ. But if you ain't caught on by now, you can't be saved. But with that being said, yes, I do recommend this thing with flying colors, bro. The OnePlus 12 is a crazy phone for the price tag, man. I am telling you, like this is probably one of the best phones that I got. Or probably is the best phone. I don't know. For $699, bro. That is a crazy value. I recommend this to literally anybody. Especially like if you're trying to get the most value for your money, this is where it's at right here. And that's kind of where OnePlus started out as. Like that was the whole goal of them. And now that we back to that, won't go back OnePlus. And now we got the OnePlus 12 R2. So I'm gonna go ahead and just try that out and see what's good with it. With that being said, man, I appreciate y'all for coming through and stay tuned for the OnePlus Buzz 3 video because I do got my review coming on that soon too. But yeah, got the OnePlus 12 R Genshin Impact Edition over here. And then I got the OnePlus 12 Regular Edition over here. But I appreciate y'all for coming through man so thanks for watching if you like this video go and give this video a like and if you really liked it go and subscribe or go and follow me on my social media eddie centek on instagram and x and facebook but it's and x the most active and y'all let me know what y'all think about the oneplus 12 so this is my first ever flagship oneplus phone man and like I think, like, they couldn't have done better than this. Well, they probably can. They definitely can. I just told y'all some of the cons, but, like, I'm just saying, like, they really did they shit this year. With that being said, though, man, it's almost 6 in the morning. I've been up all night recording and just making videos and all that, so I'm tired, bro. So I'm going to go and dip. Y'all be smooth. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.